Hi guys, um, I wouldn't even know what to call this video, but I wanted to talk to you about something and I've actually been wanting to bring this up. And I thought, well, there's no time like now to talk about this because the strike's coming up with the truckers and a lot of you are going to stay home and be home for that weekend of the 11th, October 11th through the 13th. So this is what I want to talk to you about. I call them war games, but you could call them professional sports. Um, I don't watch them. We don't own a TV. Um, but I, I have to tell you how they, how I see this. Um, as when my child, my youngest child was um, a little kid, um, I had him in little league, and I was a player agent, and uh, he was actually pretty good, but he just played for fun. And I saw how parents reacted and the division it caused. It was like a really, I mean, parents would hate each other. And coaches would almost promote this. I mean, it's like you got into a mentality of not letting the kids have fun. Um, my kid even got some trophies. And I noticed, I, I, he's older now. And the only trophies he's decided to ever keep was archery because um, he was a natural at archery. And, uh, but it wasn't as like competitive like that kind of sport, so like baseball or football. Um, because he just walked a course and adult had to be with him. I mean, he, you know, and they would take down his thing and score him and what he did. And he always won trophies. He was very good. It was a natural thing with him. And him and his friends would camp out up there and um, practice and stuff. And they just had a good time and there was no pressure. So it was more like they patted each other on the back when they did good. And, and those are the trophies he's kept you know, as a remembrance of his youth, and I have them here, and they're in a box, but he didn't keep any of that really competitive where everybody, the parents got mad at each other. So that's why I'm going to bring up why I think that the sports we have now is more like war games, and I'm going to talk about professional sports. On the weekends, they prep you all week, and they probably have them all week now, I don't know, but there's going to be a football game or a baseball game or a NASCAR race or this or that, um, basketball, and everybody gets all pumped up, and their side's got to win. And sometimes you even, if you look at that place where that TV camera's at every angle, doesn't I tell you something? They've got a venue. They've got a venue on the audience, their reactions. You've got player actors that make a million dollars for what they're doing. And they've got to be mean and look tough. And yet behind the scenes, you know, they all go hang out together because they're just there to entertain you and to divide you. I've seen over hockey games where people, if their team lost, have torn up towns. So I thought maybe this date, too, you know, while the truckers are striking and we're behind them, let's not pay homage to that television set, that brainwashing, that control. Don't turn on the news. Um, if you did anything, if you live near D.C. or a big city where you know truckers are going to be, doing something, get out there with your video camera and upload it to YouTube and put that remix button on it. Remix so the rest of us can remix it and let's just plaster YouTube with it. And let's try to get away from the Empire system because think about where some of these games are played in Coliseums. And it was it's their division. You look at it, you've got this versus this and the people on this side are for this one team and the people on that side and someone always has their feelings hurt when they leave or they're mad as hell if they you know the the story i'm telling you here and they're playing in a coliseum like they did in rome and the sports are getting a little more rougher and rougher and they're um the the actor professional athletes are getting paid more and more money by who by you, you're paying for this divide and conquer thing. If you even go to the games, I mean, goodness gracious, I want nothing to do with it. I didn't even, I went to college, I went to a very good college, and I don't even like, I didn't participate or go to any of the sports things there. Um, I'm just telling you, do you see it like me, or am I just overreacting? Because I would totally like to leave the Empire system, but... Before you can leave the empire system, you got to detach from things like 
certain things like the TV. And I know that it's hard for some people, especially sports. Sports are meant to be addictive. They actually make you feel like you're on the team, a team, or this person's. It actually makes you feel good, but you're not actually doing it. You're living through someone else who gets paid a lot of money to make you feel good. He's an actor or she's an actor, actress, um, doing this. So remember that. Just keep that in the back of your head. And maybe on this weekend, the October 11th through 13th, instead of watching one of those programs, you know, programs that they try to program you with, shoot the TV. And this let's get stuff on YouTube, social media, get this truck driver strike viral and get away from the mainstream news and let's go with our own news. I really don't care what that president has to say. I don't. I am going to leave a link in the description, not about what I'm saying, but what they're doing to the schools right now. And there's a remix button button on it's I'm Awake Are You on the um, the core standard of what they're doing in schools and um, you may want to hit that. I Instead I'm just going to send you over there and leave it below mine but I think you everybody should watch that because at that point you should say I'm dropping my kid out of school I'll figure out some other way barter with somebody to help homeschool get the hell out of the public education it's time if the truckers can do this we all need to start doing something and not just have a certain time of year October 1st is the fiscal when the fiscal year changes here for the federal government, which is printing money out of thin air for how long anyway, um, about this time of year we always hear threats or there's going to be something happening. I've heard this my whole entire life. Um, sometimes something happens, sometimes they don't. It's just always that time of year where the government may shut down or they may do this. And I think they do sometimes do distractions. But let's not let sports or the war games, as I call them, distract you. Let's, um, if we have to focus, I don't watch the news. I see it from you guys on here. And, and I'm glad that you guys only post what's really relevant. And I thank you for that because some of the crap I can't, I can't even stand listening to this CEO for the District of Columbia or the District of Criminals and the CEO because it is a corporation. It would be, um, I don't know his real name, Brock. Barry or Joe, you know, I don't know, you know, Obama. I mean, there's got aliases everywhere, you know, depending on what site you go to. But I don't like him. If, if he was a, if I owned a company, he certainly wouldn't be my CEO. Um, I'm just saying that, you know, I don't put nothing in him and what he's doing to schools, which are corporation little mini labs. You know, they're the Petri dish for the corporation so they can mi mind control your kid. Get the hell away from them. Your kid can learn from you. Really, truly. You can teach your kid anything they need to know. Plus, you don't have to vaccinate them to have them in your house. Isn't that pretty cool? Anyway, I just want to know what you think. And I thought, you know, maybe take advantage of this time to do something different. And it, it, you're addicted. If you watch TV now and you already watch sports, you're addicted. So try taking one weekend off. And then you'll have to kind of wean yourself off because the programming is addictive. You have to unindoctrinate yourself. You have to get unprogrammed. And it's a hard thing to do. But once you do it, you can't turn around and go back, I guarantee you. But you can tell me what you think below. Peace, love, and truth. And um, I'm going to leave that link to I'm Awake Are You below about the school system. This may, I hope every one of you who has a child calls the school's and says something about this, maybe pulls your children out of school. But anyway, I do love you all. And you tell me what you think about this, because we've got to start. One thing can't shut it down completely. We've got to keep on with, you know, taking the power away from them and taking it back. So by not participating in the system for a while, not just three days, would be a good start. Um, if you've got ideas, leave them below because that's what we've got to do. Bounce ideas off of each other. I love you guys. And I'm out.